Hey what's up guys it's Oyen from the Tech Info House back with another video. So finally got the first glimpse of the Lineage OS for Redmi Note 3 based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. Big thumbs up to the Xeo developers for making such amazing and fantastic rooms for us. Actually guys there's not much of a change when it comes to Lineage OS and Cyanogen mode. They both look quite identical and you could barely differentiate them. Good news about the room is that it supports 4K recording, fingerprint sensor works absolutely fine and Volt LTE is supported if you install the room in a correct way. So do watch the video till the end to know everything you should know before installing the room. So without any further ado guys, let's get started with the video. So guys actually the room was launched on 31st December 2016 but you might ask me now why I am telling about the room now and why not then. The reason is that guys when it launched it was quite buggy and I didn't want you guys to go through the trouble so after the Jan 8 update the room is much more stable and I think it's time for you guys to know about the room and install on your phone if you want to. In spite of the room being in its initial stages, the room is surprisingly stable and smooth and no problems whatsoever. The RAM management on the phone is absolutely fine too and you can do advanced level stuff like select the apps which will start up when you boot up your phone. There are few minor bugs in the room but that's okay in the initial stages. The settings panel is flat and quite identical to the one we see on stock Nougat. It gives a detailed view of the settings in an informative way and guess what? The room is pre-rooted so if you want to do some high level customization stuff, you are bagged up. Big thumbs up for that. Talking about the battery which is one of the obvious strong points of Redmi Note 3, you can get around 1 to 1.5 one days according to your usage pattern with this room. Talking about the camera, the camera app is kinda buggy but it was very buggy in the initial stages but now it's kinda more stable. Anyways, as I said you previously it supports 4K recording and so if you're someone who likes 4K recording, a big thumbs up for you and if you don't know when you are using Redmi Note 3 on MIUI how to activate that, I'll provide a link for that too so you are backed up. And talking about the camera quality it's kind of average not that good or not that bad average and yes it supports slow motion videos too the benchmarks were kind of satisfying and at the same time surprising to look at it was insane like insane anyways guys would you like to install this room on your phone do comment in the comment box down below and let me know and obviously guys the download links has been provided in the description down below and if you face any problems regarding the install or downloading process just comment I'll try to reply you guys and the most common problem faced by you guys is Kate and Kenzo issue so if you want a separate video regarding that comment in the description or comment box down below I'll try to make a separate video on that so do install according to your phone otherwise you might face some common issues like volt lte so that's all for today guys hope this video was helpful it's ion from the tech info house signing off please like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos like this it's a new channel we need your support to grow